Thanks for staying with us. We return you to our top story this hour. And after calls to the president, Cyril Ramaphosa, to ax him, National Police Commissioner Kesha Sole is leaving office. That's after months of speculation about his future in the service and various controversies. To talk about this, I'm joined tonight by Dr. Johan Berger, who's with the Institute for Security Studies. Dr. Berger, always good to see you. So there's certainly a feeling that Sole's exit was inevitable and it was always going to be a matter of how he left. Do you agree? Yes, good evening. I absolutely agree. Uh, we've been calling on the president for some time now to uh, inter uh, intervene in this, in this uh, situation. Uh, he is the one, the president, who appoints the national commissioner. He appoints the national minister. So he is the only person, really, that could deal with a situation such as this. So um, it's, it's good news in a way that the uh, president finally came with this, uh, with this offer to the National Commissioner, a sort of a compromise, um, and that would avoid a, a situation where you have a long investigation by a board of inquiry while the National Commissioner is suspended. It's a public inquiry, and it, take, it can take weeks and months mm -hmm. And uh, it just continues the uncertainty. So, yes, I'm quite happy that finally the uh, president uh, took a decision. I suppose it's great news in terms of limiting uncertainty, especially at the highest levels of the, uh, the country's police service, as you were just saying, Doctor. But I wonder if it hasn't robbed the country of an opportunity to interrogate the performance of Commissioner Stolle in this role. Yes, in, in a way it does. There are uh, a number of, um, let's say, allegations, charges against the National Commissioner um, that we may not then have the opportunity to uh, fully interrogate. But I think the uh, most important reason, probably, for the President to have uh, asked the uh, National Commissioner to uh, end his contract early is the fact that the High Court um, the High Court and later on the Appeal Court found that the uh, National Commissioner and two of his deputies were in breach of their duties. Now, I mean, you know, for any senior police officer to be found by a High Court to be in breach of his duties in itself is enough reason to mm -hmm. conduct some sort of disciplinary inquiry uh, about the circumstances around, around his, his failure to perform his, his duties. But for the National Commission of Police, I, I think that in itself is more than enough, uh, enough reason uh, for the president if he wanted to, uh, to institute a board of inquiry to look at the uh, fitness for office of the National Commission. So in a way, I suppose him leaving by mutual agreement as per the wording of the presidency statement then um, is to a degree Kekastola getting off lightly. Yes. Yes, I think it does. It may rob us of the opportunity to get uh, a, 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 a proper insight into all of the other allegations that uh, are leveled at him. Uh, we saw some of the... Um, uh, findings of the experts panel for Zulunatal violence, um, also uh, allegations against him by uh, IPIT, the Independent Police Investigative Directorate, uh, for his apparent refusal to, uh, um, to assist them with the investigations, and, and so on. So there's a number of other issues surrounding uh, his occupation of, of, of that office. Um, but I think we have to accept, um, or at least uh, uh, General Satoli will have to accept that he is saved uh, the embarrassment of going through this whole inquiry uh, and, and, and uh, the possibility of a negative finding against him, uh, as, as well as, you know, the possibility that his, his, his pension benefits mm. may have been compromised if... Uh, there was this negative finding that he was not or no longer fit for office. So, yes, I think, uh, you know, all sides benefit. Uh, you know, we can end this uncertainty. We can get a much pro better process in place to uh, um, appoint a new national commissioner. And at the same, same time, 
the national commissioner is is safe the embarrassment of such an investigation and the possibility of a negative finding well on, that, on appointing a national police commissioner the hope for many is that we can find a, a police commissioner who can actually stay the full course because this is not the first we've had everyone from the late Jackie Silibi, Ria Piecha, Khomoto Pashani, now Kehlas Tole as well, all leaving uh, almost really unceremoniously, in fact, not almost. Yes, uh, that's absolutely true, you know, and, and many questions can be asked whether Kehlas Tole was in the first place the right kind of uh, uh, officer to appoint to this office, given his his lack of operational exposure in his earlier years in, in the police service. He was in, a, uh, in the police service. He served mostly in, in support service, uh, in particular in finance. So, um, you know, perhaps that should have been the direction that his career should have gone. Uh, I think what you need now is, is or, or, well, let, let, let's just first say the kind of officer he is uh, operationally inclined police officer that can guide the police service uh, with that kind of background. Uh, someone that can inspire confidence in the police service, both mm. amongst police officers themselves and the public. And unfortunately, I don't think, with all due respect to General Kittler, that he ever had those, those qualities. Yeah. But secondly, I think this is an opportunity for the president to do what he's done before, such as with the appointment of the national head of the prosecution service, but, uh, um, Batoy, uh, Shamila Batoy. Uh, we asked a panel that he appoints to uh, look at the uh, candidates for this position. You can have a, a, a situation where people are invited to apply. Um, and, you know, against set criteria, and then they can screen those candidates, uh, uh, compile a short list of the most suitable candidates for those uh, for that position, and and the president can then uh, choose someone from that list uh, of names that uh, he is provided. Does final question? Does police minister Begitsele need to change the way in which he engages with commissioners? Because some have said that he's also a large problem when it comes to how this office has functioned, especially during his return now as minister to the post? Well, you know, the minister will certainly have to, um, to change his, his, the way that he interacts with the national commissioner. But I, I do have some sympathy with him. Uh, you know, uh, I, I know that's not the popular uh, uh, view out there, but uh, given the fact that the minister himself is a very uh, operationally inclined individual, also having been national commissioner himself, uh, the fact that he was working or had to work with a national commissioner who was not operationally inclined, was not uh, apparently uh, capable of providing direct operational uh, command and control or, or guidance to his, his members, so the, the national uh, the minister, I think, tried to fill that gap. And I think mm -hmm. he was very frustrated by the absence of that kind of operational leadership uh, from the office of the national uh -huh. commissioner. So hopefully this will now change if we have the right kind of national commissioner. Dr. Johan Berger from the Institute for Security Studies, grateful for your time as always. Thank you.